Everything Vivek does is fractal. So, you know, he's working over here, but this is shifting, and he's working over there, and this is shifting. So, I like that he sees things as whole systems, and he's operating in this homeopathic way in all systems. Those who've had their bubble popped and, and they're feeling quite um, hopeless or in dismay, like the world sucks and everything's going to hell and it's already Armageddon, if they're thinking like that, um, then I think Vivek brings a huge hope and a really fun inspiration of innovation and excitement of like, what do you do with all the pieces that are strewn about? And he's like, okay, let's build a pod, let's build a... Uh, Flintstone mobile kind of a thing, like a people mover um, that's built with all you know, all these parts that are lying about and uh, doesn't cost anything or very little, and we can just put it together. And I, that threatens corporations. <laughs> with certain people who I know are movers and shakers and innovators and scientists and things like that, like, go talk to this person. And it's been interesting to watch their reaction of him. And I've seen two responses. I mean, one is like, while this guy is uh, far out, he gets it, or they get puzzled and think, where did he come up with that? Um, whether it's an algorithm or some sort of a kind of engineering design that sounds impossible but then when they think about it and they do the math they realize it might be possible too fast. I don't know. Even though it's it's not moving, somehow it feels like it's too fast. It's too intense. It's too strong. It's like, okay, okay, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, kind of a feeling. Um, I think Vivek as a character is a kundalini awakening. It's like pure, pure energy. Uh, it's like a tornado. It's just gonna he doesn't move, but it's like ripping. I don't know what that force is that he's tapped into, and it's hard to say.
Went to a very good school, worked in the best companies, and saw through the system in my journey. And by the eighth year there, se seventh or eighth year there, I was done. I couldn't, I'd seen through the edifice, the dirty, dirty underlying edifice of the entire industrialized world, and I wanted nothing to do with it. At least not actively as a working person or a, I want to have something to do with undoing it. But I wanted nothing to do with it. And I magically was, you know, led to this house and this place and this company and this bookstore and this set of magical people that kept slapping me metaphorically away from everything that I thought the world stood for that, you know, uh, History was, international relations, my entire worldview was turned upside down on its head.